Okay, so today I am going to be trying to get back onto the rendering, uh, working on the renderer itself. I've been doing things kind of surrounding it, fixing up issues and errors and streamlining some other things, but now comes the time where I actually have to deal with the renderer itself. At least a little bit, some streamlining of it before I go back to dealing with resources and objects and stuff again. And specifically, I was uh, thinking about the command buffers. And of course, like, you know, re starting the render passes, drawing items, that kind of stuff. There's a fair number of, let's say, duplicated code, I suppose. So if I actually go, this is this Vulcan or where's the XR stuff? Okay, this is that. About here. So we got stuff. Okay, this is the render call, right? Yeah, here. So I'm just kind of doing the same thing over and over again. Like especially here, right? Where I acquire the image, I start the command buffer here. I get the command buffer. I start the command buffer, I set a couple of render pass, begin info, start the render pass, and then I go through, I draw the triangle, all this stuff, like I'm figuring out the resources, I'm binding those resources to scripture sets, the pipeline, and then I'm drawing, times however many times, and then the same thing inside the render, uh, the render call, and then I'm entering the render, ending the render pass. And basically, this is almost the exact same thing as for the two, you know, that happens twice up here for XR, it happens twice for each eye, or more or less, I don't know, depending on the headset of that, but for the index that I have, it's times two, and then down here or so, you get the same thing one more time for the, the 2D view, that window view that's drawn on this screen. Same thing, you, you're, you begin the render pass, you're setting the viewport, the scissor, getting the resources, binding the resources, binding the pipeline, and then drawing. And then same thing for the render call a couple times. Well, for right now, the one render mesh, and then once for the triangle. So that's basically the same thing happening um, uh, three times. And I want to try to get that down. Now, for render pass, there is two possible ways you can do subpasses. You can either do contents inline as our as it is done here, uh, where you know where you actually like um, just add these in well basically inline to between the begin render pass and the end render pass, or you can like pre make command buffers that already has this stuff and just like give those command buffers inside of the render pass instead. So I think it's like VK sub pass content secondary command buffers. You make a couple of secondary command buffers and you basically you know do what you need. So the idea is I'll be able to do like this render section along with that once in one secondary command buffer and reuse that secondary command buffer in all three render passes but the only question is like that's fine because like the the scripture sets and the pipeline and the draw call are all the same across them all but the things that are different is like setting the viewport setting the scissor those can be different based on the rendering surface the rendering target the off-screen frame buffer the frame buffer that you're drawing to and might also be dependent on like what kind of outputs you do have on each frame buffer. As well as the camera. Like the model view projection, not necessarily the model, but the view projection matrix of the camera itself. That is bound somewhere in here somewhere in here <sighs> viewport the scissor depth bias if I had that 
here. It's bound inside of here on the pipeline point, uh, the graphics pipeline bind point. That's always the same across all the frame buffers, thanks to that stuff I did way earlier in infographics. I forget where. It's somewhere in here. Oh, uh, yes, no, it'll be up here. It's the, the built-in descriptor set. In here would have been set like the some. These are some are preset items. And then you have the yeah, layout indexes, indices and all that. That's the same across all command, all um, shaders, all frame buffers and that. And I need to keep, and if I want to keep these like secondary command buffers reusable, I need to keep like a very rigid set of like, you know, there's, you know, out of, let's say, the 32 descriptor bind points, the first, you know, the first one, the first two are set for, like, uh, camera matrices and camera information. Then a, a number of, so, like, the first, I don't know, four are for, like, vertex information, vertex buffer, uh, vertex shader information. The next four is for, like, geometry pipeline stuff. The next, probably, like, 10 or 12 will be like fra uh, fragment pixel shader stuff and then more so on and so forth for like other shader types probably like ray tracing compute what have you or no because compute uh would use an entirely different bind set so that actually that actually would be a completely different hmm. okay but but okay Focusing on graphics. So what I need, first of all, is I need to see, like, can I set the things that I currently have set inside that can be, can I set certain things outside of the render pass so that I don't have to have it be part of um, secondary command buffers? Because information such as viewports, setting of viewports, setting of scissor, setting of... Like the, this camera descriptor. If I can render them, they do not transfer across secondary command buffers. So each secondary command buffer, if they're stuck to that, I'd have to redo it almost every time, which would basically mean like I may as well just make them almost in line all of the time, anyways. But if I can set them outside the render pass, well, let's try it. Um, since I'm on the 2D side here, I want to see if I can do this. I want to set these things outside. It's based on this stuff is from up there. So we got that scissor and blah, 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 blah. Can I set this? If I can set this stuff like that determines like the the scissor, the render target, the frame buffer target stuff outside of the render pass. Uh, okay, frame buffer is part of the render pass begin. That's good. Then I can really make my job a lot easier. If. Um, I need to make sure at least I have not that, but uh, that. True, true. Okay. So setting these things outside before we begin the render pass. Because if I can do them outside and then have them transfer like their whatever into the secondary command buffers, like have them already preset, then that makes this read come on faster. Got. I'm building everything under. Right yes. Turn that off. Mm -hmm. Ooh, right then. Okay. That's good. I can set these outside. So I, okay, what else can I do? Actually, if it said anything, it would have said this inside of the Vulcan spec, wouldn't it? So let me find VK set scissor. Uh, 
Okay, in here, in the spec, oh, this is an old spec, but inside the spec, there we go, render pass scope. It can be both command buff, can both primary and secondary command buffers. So this will be the primary, and it can be both render pass scope, which I mean, imagine means both inside and outside of a scope, uh, inside and outside of a render pass. So I can set these up before, based on the frame buffer I'm about to start, and then I can call the secondary command buffers without issue. Yeah, this makes sense. Graphics and... Okay, okay. Uh, that means... Okay, so that's some portions. What about... Descriptor sets. It, can I do the camera descriptor set? Outside of a render pass. Can I set the information on how, to, how the view of the camera or similar is set? Outside of the render pass scope. Good. Great, great, great. Let's do that. Let's, let's do that. Mm. Sorry, not this one. Where is the cam... There it is. This is coming from up here. And I put this up here. I'm setting it for that right there. P camera is being retrieved from here. Uh-oh, layout. Uh-oh, that's going to require a pipeline layout. So close. Does it have to be set for each pipeline? Or can we re um like could I like if I bind this point, would it transfer across pipelines? Or is it specific to the pipeline layout? Can I have a dummy pipeline which just has that set? So I can just bind it before and just let the pipelines pipeline be managed inside the secondary command buffer. Okay. Yes, I can have, yeah. Once bound, a descriptor set affects rendering of subsequent graphics or compute commands in the command buffer until a different set is bound to the same set number, or else until the set is disturbed as described in the pipeline layout compatibility. So zero through n will be the same. So if the if I always keep the vertex things in the in the first four, those first four, and make sure those first four are always defined in that way, or at least if I keep the vertex command, um, the vertex camera descriptive stuff in the very first descriptor set, in ed, the layout of every single pipeline, then I can ensure. That it's always going to be the same. Zero through n would, in this case, be zero to one or zero zero zero. zero you know, the, the first element zero will always be the same, and then anything after that can be changed and different.
Hmm. Okay. So Either because I'm trying to because hmm. I don't have to do this if I put the pipeline outside of the render pass as well. Uh, can I actually bind a pipe if I can bind a descriptor set outside the pipeline? And I can probably bind a pipeline outside as well, but that kind of screws with the idea of. Nope, wrong one. This one. Both inside and outside. And there's only really three. I'm not sure what uh, shader groups are about, but okay. Okay, um, rendering secondary command buffer rendering. That's what we're going to do. First, so for the moment, let's put uh, this back. there. I'm going to draw those out. I'm also going to draw Let me start up VR. Oh, no, I, let's not start up VR. Move those outside. Actually, let's start up VR so I can actually So I can actually also go up. First of all, settings true. Let's turn validation stuff off, false and false. Hmm. Yeah, so let's look at the VR view. Hmm, that one there looked like it was glitching pretty, like that. I don't like the Linux implementation of that still. Okay. I was going to move these guys outside of the render pass. Set up common rendering camera values viewport data. Rather than camera, I'm going to say it's like a viewport. Put it there. That's not what I wanted to paste. Got those. Got there. Swap chain extent. Mm -hmm.
And then down here we also move those things around, right? Yeah. Swap chain from down here. If I look around, where is the thing? Oh, I don't see it anymore at all. Ah, crap. It's all just a pinkish nightmare. Great, it's gone. Okay, uh, let's reset this part of the file. So we'll just revert that. Oh, we got a bunch of stuff not probably deleting and it's are getting stuck on the end. Last time I did this, there was still stuff around. Oh, there it is. If I uh, put the cursor over the screen, click it, so it's active, and then we start moving around. Right? Still, yeah. There's the triangle. Okay. Still doing MSIA. Excellent. <clears throat> so, okay. So, we've got a part of it. It's so I got at least this part done, which I can move and move that up, which is fine. That's great. Let's do the other bits up here somewhere. Mm -hmm. okay, I'm just moving them up here. That's all, right? Nothing magical. Just move this permanently so I can actually. I want to get another their base base uh, base station in this corner so I don't have to. Okay, that's still there. Great. Can I just put the headset there so I can always look at it when I start it up? Okay.
Okay, this is still good. I don't know why everything's going haywire. What, like, what's happening? Oh, it's all decreasing. Oh, because uh, the clang. Well, Matt thought this was a scope, so it shifted everything over to the right. And now it's shifting everything back to the left. Mm -hmm. Viewport scissor. Great. We got those out of the way. Uh, we're going to render. Call. Has the camera descriptor. Bunch of stuff down here, thanks to I don't know what. Probably XR. But otherwise, it does seem to be fine. Um, and a bunch of objects have not been destroyed. Hmm. Okay, we can at least trash this. To my mind. Or rather, whoops, that was one thing I didn't actually want to put in. We still still possibly need that, even if not quite right now. Okay, I guess Clang D decided to crash. Restart.
Hmm. Move settings of certain... Four. Okay, we've got some bits done. Now, do I, because do I want to set pipelines inside or outside? If I'm willing to do set pipelines outside of a secondary command buffer, then I can move the camera straight out. But if I'm going to keep them inside, then it'll probably mean I'll want to have a dummy uh, pipeline that just has uh, projection view data at the start instead. And that's about it. And the vertex uh, shader, the world's simplest vertex shader. I mean, okay, what's the reusability of a uh, secondary command buffer if I put the pipeline outside? Like, what would I gain? In some very certain circumstances, I can imagine I can reuse a pipeline. And I believe binding a pipeline is a somewhat expensive operation. But... If what I'm thinking of is the most logical, okay, I'll have certain sets of amounts of models and I'm putting them in several rendering pipelines. I'm going to have them in a pipeline for, let's say, shadows. In which case, I'm just doing like vertex information. I don't need anything else. Let's say heat map, color, typical color camera. And those would all be using completely different pipelines. Now, I could reuse like the same drawing calls, like binding of the vertex and index buffer. And then, but like whether I uh, bind things like the descriptor sets is really dependent and which descriptor sets depends on the pipeline. They're pretty tightly interwoven. Like, for example, I wouldn't even be binding them whatsoever for shadow uh, buffers, uh, depth maps, shadow depth maps. But I would be using them for color and then I would have a different set probably for like heat map kind of stuff. So in that case, like putting the pipeline inside would make sense because like it what you're binding does really depend on the pipeline you want or and the stuff you want to render 
Unless I can try to figure out... Uh, Okay, you know what? I should actually have a dummy pipeline whether or not I'm going to bind inside or outside of the render pass loop, the render, the render passes. Uh, at least I'll have the flexibility of doing either down the line if I do this now. Rather than trying to settle on something, there's too many unknowns, I don't know what the future holds, and having a, a uh, dummy pipeline for binding camera descriptor stuff, which is going to be almost always the same you know it's going to be a, a view uh, projection matrix like in the built-in descriptor set right model matrix and model bone matrices or uh, bone matrices I'll almost always have these two together though this and this like all the time I'm always going to have a projection view I need to know like how how to render for a certain camera, orthogonal, projection camera, whatever. And then I need a model matrix for where something is. So I keep, if I keep that common across as many elements as possible, but realistically, this is going to be exclusively in the first spot every time, all the time. I always need, I always need it on a graphics pipeline to my mind it'll always be that that one and then i do have yeah 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 okay so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to have a built-in um pipeline for it so for the moment uh we are going to it's going to be separate from the other systems like the, the pipeline pool and stuff it's going to be a very, it's going to be a special one. It's not tied into this system. It's going to be brought up with, because I don't really need a vertex descriptor or anything for like this. I would need a render pass, wouldn't I? Do I have a dummy render pass? I need a dummy render pass. I need a dummy pipeline. I need a dummy vertex descriptor. Okay, how how bad is this stuff? Not much. Because it's just what? Descriptor set layouts. Okay, and that's about it. Geometry, tessellation, vertex. Okay, this has been a whole lot of talk. Nearly half an hour of talk. And not enough action. Not enough doing. Graphics VK pipeline pools are currently tied into the graphics session, but I don't necessarily want to have them tied in. Not like that, anyways. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Does it need a render pass? Can I make a pipeline without a render pass? Can I? There it is. Okay. Create graphics pipeline. Do, 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 do. Wait, what? It must only be used with it. Wait, if I can use it outside of a render pass, when I, hold on, I, 
must only be used in compatibility with a certain render pass, but if I can bind it outside of a render pass, then... Can I bind DK bind pipeline? Command bind pipeline. What an interesting idea. Okay, uh, da, 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 da. can I get the pipeline? What do I need to get the pipeline? I need the mm, render pass and stuff. Where do I get the render pass? I get it up here, right? Something like up here. So I get it from here. Okay. Uh, question. Is this, this is in the XR. Okay. It's, no, this is outside the XR. This is just after XR ends. Yeah. Okay, get the pipeline. Bring it down here. Mm -hmm. There you are. I need these items. Render state. Okay. Um, this isn't permanent. This is just for testing because I don't really know what I'm doing. And then I'm binding the camera stuff for render pass. That would basically leave almost nothing inside of here. Because this would be basically the equivalent of what the command the secondary command buffer is about. And they would also depend on if they since they are pipeline based, they would depend on what the render pass is. Would have or would have to be which means that they are they are fairly tightly woven with the formats. And such. So it might have to be where we actually do bind stuff, pipeline information outside of the render pass, and then have the secondary command buffers be just the just running through these kinds of things real quick. Like, but let's see how that actually uh, renders, or and if it renders without issue. Or actually, no, I've, XR's got a bunch of stuff going on. Cool, 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 cool. Right, I need to skip draw a couple times. Uh oh, spaghetti o's.
put these things in little so skip draw can still work again okay let's uh, shut off XR for the moment Reset these. I'm just knowing. I'm just knowing the straight in the position I need to be to be able to test this. Quite yet. First of all, I need to get rid of the the camera stuff from. Okay. First of all, make sure that what I've got now doesn't have Vulcan errors other than the XR stuff. Okay. Getting rid of the projection view descriptor. Please don't. I'm really hoping that all the the pipelines I have right now are using that first descriptor set. And that we can leave pretty quietly, nice. And I'll make sure the same works on XR, and I'm, I'm going to also have to figure out what's going on with all the XR um, Vulcan issues. I don't know why like they're completely separate, but they are.
one. Lessening the proliferation. Okay. It's a little bit easier there. Now, I want to see if I can set the pipeline data outside. So I need this. Stop the last one. Okay. Validation debug logging is still on. Okay. Now, move this to just before here. The pipeline stuff. So that's the great question. Can I put this before the render pass and will it still work?
Mm. And render pass is only up here. Okay. Sixteen fifty nine, which would be this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here, I'll put this in a subscope. The answer is no. And put this up here. Somehow. The answer is very much a no. What's going on? This call must be issued inside an active render pass. Command and render pass. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry? What? Ah, yes. Uh, okay, I see what's going on. Skip draw takes me to there when it should be taking me to here. Okay. Pipelines can be compatible with render different render passes. Okay. But pipeline descriptor sets can be compatible with different pipelines based on the descriptor set layout rather than the render passes. And thus you can set bind pipeline sets and perhaps even bind pipelines outside of render passes. Correct? There is in fact a lot of stuff I can set outside of a render pass. Yeah. Okay, so the dummy pipeline idea is, pro is, I'm leaning towards it, based on this. It's been an hour, so I'm going to take a quick break, get a bit more water, and I'll be back to work on the dummy pipeline for setting camera data, viewport data. Mm hmm. Okay, so first part of this is... Do I want to have render pass? Or rather, realistically, do I want to actually use render passes and pipelines that I generate from the other pool types? Mm, realistically, probably not. I could just have a bunch of dummy stuff. What matters, and the same thing with a shader and that. The, the shader. Yeah, I think I'll do go with that. So let's see if I can figure out my um, dummy projection, view projection. And I can't put it up here. This is too high, too, uh, high a level. It's like missing a bunch of stuff. 
or no, because everything is still using Vulcan pipelines. So I need like um, something like this. Can I do this as a handle type? I probably should. Okay, that's that's all I can really think of at the moment uh, for the first. Okay, get this stuff. Oh, uh, wrong gear. It's really that old. Last year, when was this? Ten months ago. This was almost at the beginning when I first started this. It's kind of sad how little of progress I've made. Well, have I made a little... I've made progress, just been in a bunch of other areas in the meantime. A lot of groundwork fundamental kind of stuff. Well, that's how I'll... Uh, justify it to myself. sense.
stuff. What do we need per render pass? I have a bunch of stuff. That doesn't really matter. What really matters is this stuff is a format. And mm -hmm. Where's the create? Can I make one without any attachments? Yeah, I guess I'll find out. I mean, there'll be a subpass, sure, but. It's a. Uh, look at this. Find subpass description. Input attachment count. Color attachments is the number of color attachments. It doesn't say can, it has to not be zero. I. Hmm. We can find out though, real easy. Is it really an error code specific with this? Not really beyond, it'll say something along the line. So it'll just be, yeah. So auto star P session. Going to the graphics point, yes, we're going to have uh, zero. That's going to be a null pointer. And there's going to be a null pointer there, too. This is all just zeros. No, there's nothing, nothing. There's a subpass. There is no subpass. No attachments, no nothing. There's just, it's just that. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Let's see if it works. We can pull in. Do empty thing like that. That's great. We're going to have, be passing. Um, I 
need to define casts. That data. Else, then we'd be, you know, star p pipeline equals the same thing. Okay, that's Right, we're not uh, doing anything illegal by C++ standards, right? No. So we've got the render pass. Uh, next we'd be vertex shader stuff.
shader. I could actually just reuse this. Yeah, I just could reuse this instead. So I'll say something along the lines of um, what, like, what do I need actually on the destruction side? I need the session and the shade. Yeah, okay. session and the shader It's going to be just that. Maybe this as well. Uh, do I want... No, this is the one thing that it's always has to be bound. That is still technically an optional. To my mind. for this <sighs> I need the bindings Where did it, how long does it take to create a directory, please? For 500, come on. Uh, I also need like data. Or would it be under source? It'd probably be under source. Hmm. the only yeah
I'm creating a pipeline to bind Set zero, binding zero, bam. It does just nothing. Nothing! I wonder if you've that, that's even uh, workable. Okay. sure I can yeah dash VN this is the thing I, I actually want What's the unknown variable? Doesn't say. That's that's kind of terrible for a header, I gotta say. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, What I want to do then is I want to get rid of that. I'm going to be get out of here. We're going to be doing create a new target that takes that stuff in and then spits out what I actually want. So 
So back up to this. To add custom command, we got that. Okay. It's going to be spitting out into source. Um, uh, dummy perk.spv. It's going to be coming coming in from data, going out to this. Did it actually generate it? I don't think so. Um, no, it didn't. Oh, I want to make it a target source of that. Okay, that's not working great.
Okay, we got that. We want that. Okay, rolling back into data, shaders, and not the shaders. I actually need the resource. Vertex descriptor, what's the input bindings? What is it? If anything, really. Vertex shader. Would it be 32? No, because the matrix 4x4 four is 64. Thirty-two bytes. Four by four. Sixteen thirty-two. Yeah. Hmm. Case is slowing down, time to reboot the uh, or restart the app. I'm sure there'll be issues and I'll find out in a moment. Do I not have GLSL? No, I don't. Hmm. Let me pause and get that. Hmm. There's no real good linters for this stuff, so I'm just going to do it manually. Libs. Oh, graphics. UK. Blind pool. So what do I need for this? I need the built-in descriptor set layouts for that. Do 
I have a cache? I don't think I do. Then it could be null. I need a pipeline layout first as well. It's a handle that would have created up somewhere else. <sighs> Built-in descriptor sets and stuff. Okay, I need to figure. I need to find that stuff. Um,
That would have been for any custom ones. It's a pipeline layout. We gotta go down here to create the pipeline. Um, let's get the deletions figured out. Okay, that cleans up everything we have. Mm -hmm. Almost. I am local to this stuff, right, so I can get the shader stuff. Oh, uh, P new pipeline. Okay, can I change this to be like, um, no. Got those, we got the viewport state. 
dynamic state doesn't really matter. That's just no, this is all just no pointer. I don't have to worry about it. Viewport state, multi sample state, no. Depth stencil, color blend, dynamic state, yes. Let's see how this uh, works, if at all.
because it's just always going to rebuild. If that's the case, I'm not going to really, really like it. Mm, it's always rebuilding. That's not a good thing. Should only be rebuilding if. <sighs> right, well, let's see how badly it's broken, anyways. We do export so we can. It's visible. Let's see. So we're good on that. We created an empty render pass. No. Maybe. It's just stuck in a thread. Where are you? Oh, you're just really, you're still running through all this stuff. Run through as quickly as possible to, after that, see what the error is, if there is one. Inconsistent spur v. Missing literal string operand at word offset two. Okay, we got Okay, so I do need subpasses. Unfortunate. I was really hoping I wouldn't have to, but uh, there you go. Can everything else just be zero? And then otherwise I'm gonna to have to f figure out what, okay. issue with the render pass anymore but size so of this is 416 divided by 4 will be 100 and something or other and how many things do we have in here Let's see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 by 12 which will be 96 Right, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, wait, hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, okay, eight by thirteen would be a hundred and four times that by four bytes, 
it would be 416. What was the value it was? 416. So 416 divided by 4 should be the correct number. So that should be correct. Do I have this incorrect? I may have this incorrect. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong thing. This is the main dependency is the original stuff. The output is that. We need the the output be the target name. Okay. And that's what I got here, right? The source, the output, oh. There we go. Looks like we're, we finally got it on uh, track again. So that's now actually properly holding on to that. That's good. That's good. That's great. Now for this spur V, I may need to specify that it has to be like Vulcan, right? How do I um, I'll use this somewhere in here? Here in the down here. I do not specify any like Vulcan specific things, and it's still crapping out on. I imagine it's main. Main just doesn't exist or something. And it's expecting something. Because it can, maybe it just compiles straight out. So maybe I have to actually give something. Even if it's nothing. That should rebuild it. Good. Rebuilds that as well. Rerun. Let's see if it's going to crap out on uh, this now. Dasper uh, V module not valid. Code size must be multiple of four, but it's 225. Is it supposed to be, is code size supposed to be times four? I always get this confused. Maybe it's supposed to be like the byte size as opposed to the count size. Uh, sorry, not that. Module create info. The size in bytes. Okay, so it is size of. It's just plain old size of. That's why I keep screwing up. Uh -uh. So it literally is that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Get out of here. You gotta stop. 
Oh well. Time to die. And be reborn. We rerun with a new value. Size out without the divide by four. That's good. That's good. Okay. Next. Layout's fine. Whatever. Go down to here. And failure, right? Oh, almost. Bam. Okay. Yes, great. Thank you. Required parameter P rasterization state. Specified as null. Must be a valid pointer to a valid rasterization. Okay. It must always exist, even if I don't have a fragment. I'm sorry. in the rasterization state. Mm -hmm. It's already dying. Right. Come on, code. Or playing to you. Whoever. Okay. Uh, next flag, step clamp, polygon mode. Called depth bias line with like do I actually need to set any of this? I don't Are you kidding me? It's a brand new window and you still can't even like save a file and run formatting on it. Okay. BRB while I try to get this to start working again. Okay, managed to figure it out. The cat the clang decache had been corrupted by something. So I just had to clear out that directory, let it rerun, and uh, it seems to have cleared up and sped up again. So, uh, where was I? Yes, the rasterization. Uh, rerun, rerun. Check if I give it like a very blank rasterization state. Does it complain about that? Hmm? I mean, I don't have any fragment pipeline, uh, fragment stages or anything. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of problems here. Okay. Dot um Okay, we we do want to discard, yes. And line width has to be
what is it? Uh, topology, polygon node. Was the last thing? I need a p input assembly state, even though I'm not giving it anything whatsoever. Okay. Okay, I guess. Uh, okay, where's the triangle vertex thing? It's this. This is it, right? This is that. In so we need to make sure that when we do this, we do unbound. Camera model triangle, okay. Projection view model matrix. Hmm. Where do I specify this triangle stuff? If I even do it here. Render triangles taken using the vertex descriptor in index 16. So let's find index, that's 15, that'll be 16 right here. We have the input binding of this. Input rate of that per vertex, okay. Input assembly, input. Okay, well, I guess the cache is starting to screw up again already.
So I guess they're eating the cash. Did not fix whatever the hell's going on here. Okay, that took a full too long. Was it in vertex P in sorry? Again, the same thing. Again, I need Input state green info. Okay, what else we got? Eventually, I'll have everything I need for our a minimal pipeline. Please. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, that's something else. Okay. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, finally have a minimal pipeline. So now uh, I actually want to bind uh, the dummy stuff or Use, I want to bind the camera info using the dummy pipeline right now. So that requires Okay. Now for the interesting thing, can I bind? I already moved a lot of this around, didn't I? Yes. This is what I want to bind. So I want to bind to. 
I got the pipeline, I got the command buffer, and then I need the DK descriptor set. This basically does this. Need to auto that. Layout zero one, and then end this. Can, does this work? Please let this work. Has completely different uh, pipeline. Has com uh, mostly a completely different pipeline other than the, than the layouts. A completely different render pass. Will it work? Yes. Great. Good, 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 good. I like it. I like it a lot. So, let's uh, reset a lot of this stuff, shall we? Let's just reset all of this. i revert that. Back to what it was. And instead, we're, instead of having the camera stuff here, we're just going to like take the camera... Uh, come on, where are you? Where is it? Here. And all that stuff's going to be put back here. Do projection matrix. Uh, VK. Command view bind that. This will be the camera stuff from wherever I get it from, which will be here.
Okay. And let's see if I can do the same thing up here for XR mode as well. Let's see if I can. Uh, Re-enable that. Here we go. XR support. This stuff. Render triangle descriptor. Please position. Okay, here we go. Camera stuff right here. back to about here. Projection dummy pipeline and buffer, and it's this descriptor. All right. Let's see. Oh, I don't even have. Hold on. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I turned off uh, student VR. Need to get it back up. Oh, it was just turned off because uh, it's not moving. Okay, so the triangle's in there. Everything else is kind of as expected. And we've got a bunch of errors, which I'll look into next after this. Uh, submitting this stuff, which is basically right about now, because this is pretty much a good place to leave off. I've managed to externalize a lot of the things that I wanted to do. Now, basically, I can entirely set the viewport, projection view data outside of the render pass, which means I can make the secondary command buffers that run inline or you know non inline of the render passes much more agnostic or neutral to viewports and even pipelines if I wanted to, as long as I can get that data set beforehand. So that will be that. And I'll just kind of put this in so that is this stuff. This is the stuff I want. So do I care about this? No, I actually do not want this in by default. Or maybe I do. Mm. Yeah, okay, I'll have that in. Or would I? Would I be developing on a system without GLSL, Lang, Validator, or do I just always want to build fresh? I might just want to build fresh for now. Have a little bit less uh, stuff in. A little bit less stuff brought in, so.
Okay. Requires the use of a pipeline and binding rather than always finding a pipeline before the render pass. This new dummy pipeline. It's the scripter set layout. Used can be used. Before the render pass, the use of this dummy pipeline with the same descriptor set yeah, can be used for a binding instead. Nice. Nice. And it's two, two and a half hours, so I'll kind of call it there for this part anyways. Then the next will be trying to figure out like what all this is going on about for specifically XR stuff. So cheers.